Hello, everybody! <laughs> Dark Phoenix Gaming here, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2! <laughs> In my Wolf's Vengeance series! <laughs> Dear God, it has been a long, long while since we played Mass Effect 2. <laughs> Owing in part, I'm certain, to my rotate through the Let's Plays rather than finishing them all at once thing that I've been doing since not too long ago. It's been a couple of months since I've been Let's Playing this game. So you may not recall what happened last time we were playing, so I think this is a good time to refresh our memories. <laughs> last time, we were on a mission somewhere around the Omega sort of area to try and rescue some Cerberus operative who had been captured by the Blue Suns. We found out the operative was dead, and there was some critical Cerberus data lying around, albeit encrypted data. So we decided to send it with the, we decided to send that data to the Alliance because fuck Cerberus. That is Melinda Shepard's point of view, after all. Fuck Cerberus. And we were also given the location for a, a couple of resource caches and such on this planet by Arya after we helped her out with that whole patriarch situation. And that appears to be mechs. I do not like mechs. I do not like mechs. Especially when they're breaking our shit. Oh. Okay, drop their shields, please. And I'll activate my incineration the rounds of incinerationiness. Fuck, 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 fuck. And I died. This doesn't surprise me much because I feel like I should remind you of this. We are playing this on insanity difficulty i.e. very fucking hard, i.e. the hardest difficulty in the goddamn game. So the fact that we're playing this on insanity is going to mean that this is going to be a little bit, shall we say, tricky. We can get that smuggled cargo another time. And we need some fuel, besides. No, Jack, you're going to have to wait for your rescue. I know you want to insult us for being fucking Cerberus toadies and all, but it'll have to wait. For now. We are going to the Citadel to recruit one of my favorite characters in the entire fucking Mass Effect series. Yep, we're here, going here to recruit Kasumi. Hello, Citadel Giant Death Trap of Doom. Oh, uh, the first time arriving on the Citadel is always so awesome. I just love the atmosphere and everything. It's just so great.
All right, we'll take Gareth and Zaid, I guess. And Zaid can have some mercenary veteran, I suppose. Gear is all good. Besides, it's a citadel. We're not about to be starting any fights here. At least I don't plan to. And uh, uh, and we could just talk to it and recruit the best character in the game immediately, but I just love all the stuff she says. <laughs> it's kind of cool to listen to. <laughs> oh, sorry, but I'm not a lesbian, is what Shepard's thinking there. <laughs> okay, really? How many times can you walk by without stopping? Wow. Okay. Shepherd, you do have the password. Right? Okay, she's getting upset. Let's let's talk to her. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepherd. Silence is golden, of course. Silence the password most certainly is not Good cut the crap. Commander Shepherd, Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. Okay. What's the deal with you and Cerberus, though? You don't strike me as the xenophobe type. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission. And we're offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. And what's this deal of yours? I assume this deal is something I should know about. Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it. And I'm planning to get it back. First Zaid and now her. Is every person that we recruit through Cerberus going to come with a catch? Something that's buried in the fine print and written in Mandarin Chinese or something? Because if so, then I'm going to have to start hiring a translator who speaks Cerberus bullshit. Anyways, that's for another time. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. Ah, uh, that kind of businessman, then. I way in, and I think you're gonna love it. We're going to have fun with this, methinks. <laughs> I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. Okay, then. What's a gray box? Never heard of that before. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware. But apparently Shepard does that? know. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. Um, oh, so that's Let's where Kasumi keeps her collection of porn, you. then. <laughs> that's where she keeps her tentacle porn. I was wondering why I never found it on any of my previous playthroughs. <laughs> Sorry, my jokes are terrible, I know. But you mentioned a partner. Tell me about him, Kasumi. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda. The best hacker and entry man I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. 
He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad. Something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information... got him killed. And what was this information? Though I don't imagine she knows if it would spark interstellar war, then... Probably not the sort of thing you share with your girlfriend over Sunday dinner, is it? What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. I can understand why you'd want to get it back. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. I like drawing my gun, though. This is an action game. I should draw my we gun. Should I should shoot people. Up. That's how things work. There talking to an advertisement. You yeah, there, good point. Probably gonna be some people who just walk by going, uh, what is she doing? Is that lady talking to an advertisement? I'm only going to get that sort of thing. And apparently she nails down her details pretty fast because we already have the mission t available to help Kasumi out. Now we're going to change up our squad because I want Kasumi along for the ride. Because she's awesome. And actually... It's time to listen to this conversation, because it is one of the f most amusing things you'll hear. class dreadnought accelerates 1 to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot. Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. <laughs> sir, yes sir. Wow, this guy is Fucking awesome, he really is. <laughs> He's just great. I swear to God, I <laughs> oh, Kasumi! You see you now why I love her so much. She, she just <laughs> yeah. okay. Sorry yeah, she Our just has some of the reading. best the damn CD lines CD. in this yeah. game. I was only mostly dead. Try finding that option on government paperwork. <laughs> we need to get that cleared up for you. Why don't you talk to my captain? He's just beyond the scanners on the right. Okay. <laughs> You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not going to tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Hey there. Yes. I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. And you don't seem to have any doubts that I'm me? You're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. 
Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Well, I'd like to get that sorted. So please help me. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs. Then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. Is that right? Seems well, like an see awful lot of trouble for someone so to go through just, just to dodge taxes year. for a year. Call it done. Is that legal, though? I don't want to get us into trouble for it. Couldn't one of us, or both of us, get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. <laughs> yeah, you're not big on the whole regulations and doing things by the book uh, sort of thing now, are you? Bailey. You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. That well, said, thanks you for should that. head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The Council probably wants to talk to the one who saved their scaly asses. Yeah, we'll head on up. They'll probably just spew bullshit about how there are no Reapers or something. But I may as well humor the bastards. I will. Yeah. Having access to the council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. As you can yeah. tell, Melinda Shepard here is any. not thing about too fond of the council and doesn't put get. much anyway, stake in their reliability. Can I get back to work? Another time, maybe. I should be going. Yeah. You need anything we else? don't Let consider them. We don't consider the council to be all that reliable. Nor do we really care too much about their opinion. I mean, I reference my Mass Effect 1 uh, Let's Play where we hung up on the council several times when the Turians started bitching at us. Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and, and 17 it's, days since the Citadel last welcomed you. And it's Cortana's purple dumber twin. Shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC security cordon. It looks like this place has recovered from Sovereign's attack. Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Tacery Ward. Geth? What about the Reaper? And at this point, Shepard has basically concluded that, yeah, everyone's fucking living in denial because they're all retards. Geth? It was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. I have no information on a Reaper. References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic extinction cycles. They're really selling the Geth did it message. I bet you can't even say Reapers without inciting a panic. Reapers! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kasumi, I love you. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Mm hmm. And now we're going to go around to the stores and be a bit of a bastard, quite honestly. Welcome to Citadel News. And hey, it's Emily Wong. Officials in the Systems Alliance remain tight lipped about the recent disaster on the pioneer colony of Freedom's Progress. The human outpost is believed to have been destroyed, with no survivors on record. Details are sketchy due to a news blackout. This is the latest in a series of frontier settlements lost by the Alliance. The Hanar Shrine of the Enkindlers plans a prayer vigil for the deceased. The Hanar maintain that the lost colonies are the Protheans' wrath, after human explorers defiled a Prothean data beacon two years ago on Eden Prime. Ugh, religion. As much of a pain in the ass now, in the Mass Effect timeline, as it is, is at any other time in history, pretty much. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. Darn it! I can't accuse her of classism. I'm just of course. Take your time. I'll come back another time when I can accuse that lady of classism. I guess.
I hear this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel. And this is that cafe we wanted to go to for the high grade provisions we wanted to get for the chef to actually have food that's worth a damn be served on the Normandy. <laughs> and I'm just gonna pick up these just for the lols. <clears throat> it's basically... Um, these two novels are a little bit of ingrit game fourth wall breaking because uh, those two are the actual Mass Effect novels. As in actual Mass Effect novels written in real life, reproduced in the game just for the hell of it. And I just find that kind of amusing, honestly. CSEC won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Uh, they think every Krogan is dangerous. Let's see. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping before we go anywhere, because we want to see the council, but I want to buy shit first. Used ship salesman. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used, yes. Right. I totally Get believe you. You know what I haven't had in ages? Ramen. My grandmother used to make the best ramen. Delicious. Thinking back, I really should have stolen her recipe. Stolen? Why would you have had to steal it? She's your grandmother. Wouldn't she have just given you the recipe? You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. Um, in what alternate universe is ramen a delicacy? I mean, I'm certain you can make it quite good. And I have had some pretty tasty ramen. But a delicacy? No way. Welcome to Sarinus Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, yeah that's a, a pretty common Please, refrain the these store. days. It's a pleasure to have you here. Okay. <laughs> would you like an endorsement? You know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point-and-go nav interfaces, anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, Why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled. But I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just worked out a discount? Absolutely. Just speaking to my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store in the Citadel. That will be splendid. I can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so much. And now you know how we're going to get all our discounts on the Citadel. Can't afford either of those, because I don't have the credits right now. But, as I was saying, For all our other discounts, we're basically going to go into every single store on the Citadel and do that exact Maybe same the thing. Maybe the immuno booster? It's supposed to help with alien back. Good day, <laughs> Because we're just that much of a douche that we will tell everywhere that they're our favorite store on the Citadel. I couldn't help but notice your prices. They seem a bit steep. With respect, the Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. You know, it would make your services more popular. An endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren. Oh my! You're Shepard, aren't you? I would be glad to give you my employee discount if you would do that for us. It's a deal. Just speak into my console here. 
I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Well, uh, apart from that software guy across the road, he's also our favorite store on the Citadel. So let's hope neither of them walk into each other's stores, or that could be a touch awkward. I'll take both of those. This looks interesting. This Clantus is a thief, and I want her arrested. What? I was just walking by. What the hell is this? I'm sorry, I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not! Just because I'm a Quarian! I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vault Clan need. It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. Okay. This is going to be complicated. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her, but she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. <laughs> I'm sorry. What did you say? Bailey wants to do with her. You know what Quarians are like? That, sir, is racism. I do not like racists. You're on my list. You say she stole your credit chit? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. How does running into you mean she stole your credit, Chit? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. Yeah, and you can see she you is less than impressed. Landless quarians, thieves, <laughs> all of them. Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? Yes, I do. I You're a racist. There. That chit stayed in my pocket. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Ma'am, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can. All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, Please, let one of our officers know. You don't need civilian help. What about Spectre help? Be careful out there. Yeah. I felt her hand go into my pocket. I'm sure I'll get into that quest, get around to that quest eventually. But for this particular one, I'm actually planning to wait. until after we recruit a certain future squad mate just because I want to get a certain line of dialogue in this LP that you can only get when you recruit this individual here we go good day my friends welcome to the Citadel now, this is quite unfortunate. We don't have enough renegade points to be able to accuse her of classism. That's quite a shame, because accusing her of classism, that is one of the funniest dialogue lines in the game, because I'm essentially just implying that the store discriminates against the poor, and she gets gives us a discount as an apology, and it's kind of hilarious, honestly. But we can't show that one, so we'll have to settle for the much less amusing wanton endorsement. Since these stores are owned by the Council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? I'm a former Spectre. My goodness, I didn't know Spectres quit. I don't believe you qualify for a discount, though. How about if I throw in an endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren? You are Shepard? My goodness. 
The increase in sales would certainly be worth offering a discount. What do you need me to do? Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> yes, and every store on the I Citadel is my favorite store on the community. Citadel. Because that's just how we roll, yo. <laughs> and look here, everyone. It's Boo. <laughs> and we're going to purchase Boo. Along with some fish for our tank and a couple of ship models. Because why the hell wouldn't we collect ship models and have fish to look at? But yeah, anyone who's not played Baldur's Gate will not get that boo reference. And uh, I'm not going to explain it right now for the simple reason that I plan to let's play Baldur's Gate in the near future. And I would like to be able to explain this sort of thing in the let's play. Because that makes it more relevant and all. What can I do for you? Want an endorsement like every other store in the Citadel? Your expeditions might be a little tame for me. Tame? A human can hardly take down a feral Varen, let alone a Shatha. Who do you think you are? Well, my name's Shepard, and I the Shepard, the one that put down Saren Arterius. Oh, you do know me. By the spirits. Shepard, in my store. I don't suppose I could convince you to record an advertisement for me. Sure you could. Can we work out a discount? A discount? I'd name my firstborn after you if you ask. Can we record it now? Just speak towards my console. <laughs> Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> I'm also a little bit no of a prick since kind of I'm endorsing every single store on the Citadel, but we're not going to mention that in the advertisement. Now we'll pick up a couple of armor pieces here. There's plenty of other stuff I want to buy here, but I need more money to be able to buy it. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? Uh, I love that game. <laughs> it's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. So, World of Warcraft has made it into space. Just modified for Turian mythology, I guess. Oh, it's you, is it? I'm sorry, no, I cannot not talk to you just yet. Let's go visit the bar and get drunk. Uh, I'll talk to reporter bitch after we're good and wasted. Hey there. I'd like to get drunk. Will it be? I want the strongest thing you have. Easy enough. This is Green? And guaranteed to knock you on your ass. Unless you're Dextro DNA like me. If you are, it'll kill you. Well, give me another. Else? Let's have another one. There you are. <laughs> nice. And Shepard drank with her eye, apparently. <laughs> if you saw that animation, it looked like she was drinking part of that into her eye. It was honestly kind of disturbing, but I'll have something else. Not done yet. I need more alcohol. I'm having to talk to a reporter uh, after this. Anything else? I can't do that while I'm sober. I don't talk to reporters sober, especially not that bitch. 
she twists everything I say, so I want to get drunk and punch her lights out. That's the plan. Hit me again. How about we mix it up a little? This is genuine Vitarian ale, uncut. Don't ask how I got it. Citadel Black Market is my guess. Uh, and it looks like the exact same thing. Well, you say you haven't seen anyone have one of those and stay on their feet? Well, you have now. But let's have some more. Okay, for you, something special. This is Krogan liquor, Rincall. You'll set off radiological alarms after you drink it. Should I pour you a quad? Hell yes! Hell yeah. Put more of the stuff in the, the thing more stuff goes in. It's called a glass, Shepard. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is awesome. Now, let's down some wrinkle. We can boast to Rex that we drank wrinkle. All when we see him next. And maybe that's even impressive for a human. I don't know, really. I don't know. Obviously, they don't, don't believe in single-sex bathrooms on the Citadel. Because that was quite obviously a male Turian. And Garrus is clearly in here with us. Anyways, we're nice and drunk, so it's time to go bitch out a reporter. Time for the press, Shepard? Unfortunately, I do. I am a little drunk, though. Kalisa been seen in Al Jelani, Westerland News. I oh, you're that bitch. You and people wondered why I had to get drunk before speaking to her. Yeah, I remember you. You spent the whole time trying to make me look like I was selling out Earth to the Council. You that, wrong yeah. That. Now that you've resurfaced, your news again. I just want to give your story its due. Okay. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium. And the as tempting Canada. as it is, I am not going to punch her. Your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the destiny as amusing as it is to watch this bitch get punched like that. But yes, we stood as one to save many. Let's try and be a little diplomatic here. The Turians lost 20 cruisers. Figure each had a crew of around 300. The Ascension, the Asari dreadnought we saved, had a crew of nearly 10,000. But surely the human cost. The Alliance lost eight cruisers. Shen Yang, Emden, Jakarta, Cairo, Seoul, Cape Town, Warsaw, Madrid, and yes, I remember them all. Everyone in the Fifth Fleet is a hero. The Alliance owes them all medals. The Council owes them a lot more than that. And so do you. <laughs> And, Commander ladies Shepard, and gentlemen, this is why I enjoy playing as female Shepard very... This is why I enjoy playing female Shepard so much, because I tend to lecture and get pissed off at a lot of people. In I mean, my character does when I play Mass Effect. And it just is a lot more. I just enjoy it a lot more with the female character because the angry, pissed off side of things. Jennifer Hale does it a lot better than Mark Mir or whoever the male shepherd voice is. So I just like it better. Anywho, we're going to the Presidium to get chewed out by the council and to tell them they're retards. So let's get on it. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. 
As counselor, I represent the voice of humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. So I hear. Good to see you again. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. The Collectors are abducting human colonists in the Terminus systems. Worse, we think they're working for the Reapers. The Terminus systems are beyond our jurisdiction. Your colonists knew this when they left Council Space. You're missing the important part, Counselor. The Reapers are involved. Ah, yes, Reapers. Oh, the you did not fucking do that. Air quoting oh, yes, me. Sorry. How dare you. Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Island. Seriously. Did you look that up in a literature book or something, you bastard? Speaking of another source, this is the point at which we should whip out uh, the audio recording from the end of Mass Effect 1, where we record the Asari Counselor basically indirectly acknowledging that Sovereign was a Reaper. But no, Shepard was not forward-thinking enough to make a recording or something like that. So we don't get to do that, unfortunately. Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional, and we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. Oh, you are so lucky. You're just a fucking hologram. Or you would be nursing quite the headache right now, bastard. But why don't you enlighten me? Why exactly the Geth would choose to follow an organic? If, as you say, it was all Geth. Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth, one you insist on perpetuating. We believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. Well, I believe that you're a bunch of self-obsessed morons in denial who are going to get us all killed when the Reapers eventually return. So there. I kept Saren from conquering the Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm you tell him, Anderson. I'm not going to put up with this shit either. Not public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. So basically, they're just offering us lip service. They'll say we have support, but they won't actually give us any real support. Is essentially what I'm hearing from this. What does that mean? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith. Like I said, just fucking lip we service. Become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. Okay, I guess we'll take that. I mean, we could just tell them to fuck off, but I would rather be somewhat diplomatic if I can. I accept your offer. 
It's good to have the Council on my side. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Yeah, so do I, quite frankly. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. <clears throat> yeah, well, better not to burn any bridges, I suppose. They might actually turn out useful one of these days. Who knows? Miracles can happen. Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Garrus, shoot him. Kasumi, rob his ass blind. Not used to seeing ghosts, Sudina? I'd heard you were alive, of course, but I didn't expect to see you back on the Citadel. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Consul. We just finished our meeting. You what? Consular, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? And, Udina, this is why you're not on the Council. Because you're too much of a politician. And because you stabbed me in the back at the end of the last game. But you can chill. Everything went fine. The Council reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you really shouldn't have taken a step like this without consulting with me first, Counselor. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Sorry about that. Udin has never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. And you keep this slimy weasel bastard around why exactly? Tell me, because I'm drawing a blank on what his uses could possibly be. What do you keep him around for? He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus... He's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. Well, I suppose that makes sense. Have him play to his strengths and you play to yours. Fits, I suppose. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. Yeah. Um, the Keepers are helping to keep the Citadel in working order, though because that's what the Reapers program them to do more than anything else. And it's never really been explained why they want to have them doing that. Other than the fact that it makes inhabiting the Citadel more attractive to organic species. I suppose that's a good enough reason, but I don't know. Always struck me as kind of odd, really. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Now, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. Well, that's certainly good to hear. <clears throat> now, and I saved this for last, just because we didn't want to jump quite to the point and give ourselves away, because... 
I remind you, Shepard is in a relationship with Caden, or she was the last we checked, and technically when it started, we were his, we were his superior officer, which makes matters a little bit tricky, for lack of a better word, since we're both in the military and all. So... Oh, we have to kind of step lightly around this whole subject. But what happened with Caden, anyways? What happened to Staff Lieutenant Alenko after the Normandy was destroyed? Staff Commander Alenko is still with the Alliance. But he's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. Yeah, I guess I can understand that. Uh, a little bit um, po political with that whole thing and the fact the council doesn't probably doesn't want to share a lot of classified information while we're with what's uh, technically speaking a pro-human paramilitary terrorist organization Anderson has to be a little bit cautious around the whole thing even if he does trust Shepard so I can understand where he's coming from with that but anyways, Anderson, how you been these last couple of years? How have the last couple of years treated you? Serving on the council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Well, we could say he should come with us, but quite honestly, I don't think Shepard believes that. She probably believes that as hard and frustrating as he seems to have things right now, the fact that he's trying to make a little bit of difference is a good thing, and that if he keeps at it, then maybe eventually we'll be able to convince the Council to start preparing for the Reapers even a little bit, so having him stick around the Citadel is for the best. So we're not even going to say that, as much as we would like to have him along for the ride. So, take care, Anderson. I'll see you if we ever decide to drop by again another time. Ta-ta for now. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Gotcha. Well, I'm out. And we're heading back to the Normandy. And off the Citadel. We'll come back eventually once we have some extra credits to spend, but for now, we're out of here. And now... Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Yeah, now we're going to check that message. Then pop over to do some research. Let's see, thank you again. From Samesh Bhatia. Commander Shepard, Mr. Udina offered to pass on a message for me. I wish to again express my thanks for your assistance in retrieving my wife's body. While nothing can ever banish the pain of losing Nirali, being able to see her body was treated properly helped me more than you can imagine. I have opened the restaurant that my wife always wished to start back on Earth. Nirali's picture hangs on the wall and Alliance soldiers eat for free. And it's the least I can do to honor the courage with which both you and my wife have served humanity. Sincerely, Samesh Bhatia. Aw, that's kind of sweet. And for those of you who don't remember, Samesh Bhatia was 
one of the guys that we did a side quest for back in Mass Effect 1. His wife had been killed on Eden Prime, and the military was holding her body for tests relating to the Geth weaponry, and we convinced the person who was responsible for that to release her body back to release her body back to Samesh here. And now he's writing to thank us for it again. You're not dead! Exclamation mark from Emily Wong. You're alive? How come you broke whatever cover you've been under for the last two years but didn't offer an exclusive interview to your favorite reporter? Whenever you come up for air and are ready to talk, let me know. Emily Wong. And... Emily Wong is that reporter we got on that little news thing, and is basically our favorite reporter in the entire series. Because she's just that awesome. Even if she only turns up in person for like three side quests or something, she's just awesome. And a reporter that's not either A, a bitch, or B, trying to twist everything to get better views. A gift of words from Consort Shaira. The Consort is basically... She's a, an interesting Asari on the Citadel in Mass Effect 1, who's kind of a mix between counselor and prostitute. It's kind of difficult to describe properly, honestly. But that's the best I can think to describe it. She's like a counselor or advisor that's also a prostitute. I'm totally serious. Commander, I thought that my gift of words had been incorrect, an embarrassing notion, but my contacts tell me you yet survive. I am pleased to hear that your journey continues, though I sense that you head toward an even deeper darkness. When you fought Saren, only your resolve was tested. Now I fear you cannot rely on your only your own strength. Take whatever steps you must to ensure that those battling at your side fight with clear minds and glad hearts. Be well, Consort Shaira. And this line, take whatever steps you must to ensure that those battling at your side fight with clear minds and glad hearts. That's going to become more clear. It's going to be a lot more clear what it means a little bit later on, because this is a little bit of foreshadowing for something that will start happening in the later stages of the game. So just bear that in mind. You and Garrus are alive! Exclamation mark. From Dr. Michelle. Dr. Michelle is a doctor that we saved from some thugs on the Citadel when we were investigating Saren at the start of the first game. Dear Commander Shepard, I was relieved to hear that you were alive. I was devastated to hear the destruction of the Normandy and those people who didn't make it off in time. After you went missing and were presumed dead, I feared I'd never see you or Garrus ever again. You and he did so much to help clean up the wards when you were hunting for Saren. The galaxy needs more people like you, and I'm glad you and that you're still here to protect those of us who've grown to depend on both of you. <laughs> Is Garrus with you again, by any chance? After being so happy to hear of your survival, I wondered if perhaps he might have ended up with you. I left a few messages on his public accounts, but you know how he is about checking his mail. And I don't think the common address I had for him works anymore, because he hasn't returned any calls. Oh, he's so busy on his grand crusades, his great passions, that he focuses on them to the exclusion of anything or anyone else. Anyway, if you know where he might be, I would really love to hear from him. Or both of you could come by the next time you're near the Citadel. Thanks, Clo Michel. That's kinda nice that she's taking the time I kinda like that all these characters are um, taking the time to uh, drop us a little message during this game it's rather nice to see honestly but now let's do a little bit of research here if we can
and we don't have the resources to do any of the upgrades, unfortunately. Because they're all pretty expensive, and I'm going to have to go and do some mining before we have enough. Which is something I'm going to be doing off-camera, just because mining is boring as crap, and I don't want to subject you to that. But, I think I am going to cut it here. So, this has been Dark Phoenix Gaming, and you've been watching my Let's Play of Mass Effect 2 with Melinda Shepard. <clears throat> Next time, we will be heading off to do Kasumi's mission to get back her old boyfriend's gray box. So, I hope you'll join me for that. Anyways, if you've enjoyed this, please leave a like. Comment down below if you have any tips or suggestions, or just want to tell me something that you think is kind of neat, or say how horrible I am playing this game. And subscribe to see more like this. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. See you then, folks. See you then.